Many people are overwhelmed by IPv6 when they first start to look at it, but you really don't have to be. Keep in mind that IPv4 used an address that was really just 32 ones and zeros. IPv6 uses 128 ones and zeros. IPv4, you could use a subnet mask to divide it into a network address and a host address. And we can do the same thing with our IPv6. It's just that the first 64 bits are the network address and the last 64 bits are the host address. So there really isn't as much of a difference as you might think. We're still dealing with ones and zeros. The real difference comes in how we represent them at the higher level. Whereas with IPv4, we represented them using dotted decimal notation. With IPv6, we use hexadecimal values. But under the hood, it's still binary.